Hello everyone, my name is Hesam and in this video I'm going to go over the cruise performance and how to calculate the cruise performance based on this packet. Uh, we have been told to calculate the, these uh, performance figures uh, to level off at 7500 feet based on the aircraft configuration and we're going to configure our aircraft uh, by 70% of our power. So we're, uh, we're not going to go full power but we are going to be 70% uh, so we're going to explain what does it mean in a uh, few minutes uh, we go directly to the cruise performance so in cruise performance uh, we're interested to find out what is our aircraft going to perform in that altitude so we are going to fly at 7500 feet and uh, we have uh, given this chart. This chart is going to help us with our pressure altitude. If we know our pressure altitude, we can directly go to our BHP and find the, the uh, percentage of the power that we are going to use and read the true air speed, which is here, uh, KTAS is the true air speed. And we're going to find our gallon per hour, which is our fuel burn. Uh, number. So uh, I'm going to give you an uh, example first, and then we go to uh, to go over this uh, this uh, example that we have here. So if we had to uh, climb to 12,000 and the temperature was uh, uh, standard, so we uh, we could easily go here and uh, look at uh, these figures right here, which is uh, we are looking and we are interested at seven per seventy percent. Let's look at this. This is easier. So 10,000 10, feet and uh, 70%, it gives us roughly about 122 knots and uh, 8.0 gallons of fuel. However, uh, for this flight, it's not uh, the case. So our temperature is not a standard. And uh, we're going to figure out, actually, if uh, we're going to use uh, which column we're going to use. We have um, this column tells us uh, the values of 20 degrees below standard temperature. This column, the whole column, going to tell us about standard temperature, the values on standard temperature. And this column, it's 20 degrees above a standard temperature. So we have a broad like uh, uh, span between uh, those categories. So first of all, we need to know if if uh, which which con which column I'm going to we're going to use for this uh, example. So we uh, in order to do that, we need our uh Vinsoloft because uh, we know that the temperatures and the win winds directions changes as we climb. So we we're going to go over the uh Vinsoloft right here. We copied it from the uh, aviationweather.gov. So uh, and if we found the closest station to us uh, to John Wayne is Ontario, the reporting station in Ontario. And uh, these are the values for uh, 3,000 feet. These are the 6,000 feet, 9,000, and so on. So we're going to uh, find out what is the actual temperature at uh, 7,500. How we do it? Uh, I can show an easy way uh, to do that. Uh, to do. So uh, you copy down these numbers. So you remember 6,000 is 12 degrees Celsius and 9,000 is 7 degree. And you come back to the last uh, table that you have. And you uh, you have this this table right here that is printed for you. So you have uh, standard temperature values right here. And you can write the current uh, or actual uh, temperature values right here next to it and compare it and easily find your numbers. So we know that. Uh, at sea level, sea level, temperature is 15 degrees. So each 1,000, uh, we lose about two degrees, uh, two degrees roughly in temperature. And uh, at 5,000, uh, 7,500, the standard temperature is uh, zero degree. And if we look at the, the this uh, chart right here, uh, our METAR says that to today at sea level is 19. So 500 feet is going to be 20 degrees, and uh, our temperature at 7,500 feet is going to be 9 degrees Celsius based on the winds aloft information. So we see that, okay, we have only 9 degrees. We are no 9 degrees above standard. So l now that we know that, we can easily find our values. So th we know that this is 20 p degrees above a standard, and this is a standard. So 9 degrees is half the way, almost half the way between these two uh, columns. So not a standard, not 20 above, but 
at, uh, between them. So I'm going to write those numbers for the sake, for sake of easiness right here. I'm going to write the standard numbers right here. We are interested in true airspeed and gallon per hour. So I'm going to copy down these numbers from this chart right here and bring it to here. But we might, we're going to make sure that we are only interested in 70% of power. We are not interested in 58 or 75 or 47. These are the power settings. So we have been told to calculate the 70%. Here in, in this case we didn't have 70% so we just interpolated between these two numbers to create the 70%. So between these, these two numbers is 118 and between these two numbers is 8, eight uh, gallons. So this is the values for 70%. So we're going to bring it down right here so I can explain to you what happens. So we know that at 6,000 it's 18, one, 118 knots and 8 gallons and we know that the 8,000 it's 120 and 8 uh, gallons. So between these two it's going to be 7,000 feet. At 7,000 feet uh, the value is going to be between these two. So 118 and 120 is going to be 119 and with these two there's no change of gallon per hour no fuel change so we're gonna copy that number and between 7000 and 8000 now we can find 7500 the truer speed gonna be between 119 and 120 it's one it's 19.5 and between 8 gallons and 8 gallons no change so we write it down here also you can use other methods like uh, multiple it but by one quarter uh, any math that you can use. This is just easier for me, so I just write it down very quickly. And why I why I do it because mm, I'm not a very good at math, so <laughs> uh, that's the way I do it. And I write down the the numbers for 20 degrees. Again, the same system. So we 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 copy down the numbers. We find f the values for 7,500, and finally we find interplay between these two. How we can do it? So we know that between 119 and 118 is uh, uh between 120 and 118 is 119 because we are interested in 10 degrees, almost 9 degrees above a standard. These are the values. So the final answer for 7,500, the true speed that it will give us today it's 120.5 uh, knots of uh, true air speed and our uh, gallon per hour usage of fuel it's 7.95 thank you so much for watching